Good morning, Tin here from Kayon, and we're here at our workshops and we've got a Hilux up on the hoist and we're gonna fit up our bash plates for the N80 Hilux. The N80 here is a really popular dual cab four wheel drive and we've got some bash plates for these here. Now I thought I'd just go through um, some of the features of our bash plates compared with the, the factory ones and just to point out a few things we do slightly differently from what's available already. Now you can see that um, there's some old bash plates there. They've been on the vehicle about six months. Um, just a bit of testing. And these are the production version. You can see the first difference is the color. Uh, pictures don't really do it justice, but it's a really nice metallic -y, um, It's an asteroid gray powder coat, a dual process uh, zinc primer with a top coat. Now this is the front. Looks great. But the main difference is, is underneath, you can see there's bracing up the top here and on the bottom. This middle section is where you're going to get a lot of uh, the forces and so forth. So we've put that extra bracing in there and it also allows us to recess the bolts nice and smooth. This is our sump guard. Again, you can see all the folds and the extra bracing. Uh, there's little details there that make little differences there all recess bolts as well and this is the transmission guard uh, the interesting thing with this transmission guard is you can actually just install this by itself with the factory plates so if all you're after is a, some extra protection on the transmission you can attach this um, separately you don't need the, the other two plates to install this one and again the same sort of thing we've done here we've put lots of folds uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is these are actually three mil high strength Strenix 700 steel. So about three times as strong as your normal mild steel. And I'll just show you the factory ones that came off. You'll notice that that's the transmission guard on the back there. It's not, doesn't protect very much. And these other two here are, are pretty much sheet metal. The factory three piece uh, bash plates, front, sump and transmission, or little bits of the transmission come in at eight and a half kilos. Uh, our set here for the whole three pieces is 19 and a half kilos. So you're adding about an extra 11 kilograms, but you have to remember that you also get this extra protection of the transmission. So uh, fairly minimal weight gain. Um, so you shouldn't really notice any significant difference to the way it drives or your suspension or, or ride heights first piece to go on after you removed the uh, UVP and tidied up all the surfaces and, and put a little bit of grease or anti-corrosion in the bolts is uh, the sump plate. Now grab the M8 bolt and we'll get that up there. You'll need a socket to install this because of the recessed uh, bolt mounts. We've got one up there. You can see what we've done here. We've made sure we braced all the way along the cross member, not just where the bolt points are. Helps uh, spread the load across the cross member and prevent de localized uh, deformation and denting, which we've seen on other vehicles. And same with the back here, very nice and tidy. We try to keep everything as uh, tucked up as we can. And you can see this, uh, this tunnel down the middle here for the added strength. And we took the opportunity to make sure there's plenty of cooling for the diff and for airflow to, to go onto the transmission. So we're loosely gonna get all those bolts up. Again, just reuse the uh, factory bolts. They're really good quality bolts with nice, decent, thick washers. Okay, next, the front guard. Now with the front guard, you wanna put um, two M8 bolts up there on the, the front most holes and just, uh, just tie, um, wind them in a few threads just to hold them enough. And you'll see that there's a couple of slots in the front guard. And what these are for is to make installation of that front guard a little bit easier. So you should be able to slide it on. Just like that. And it holds itself up while you're grabbing the other two bolts uh, towards the back. Makes life a lot easier.
Again, you'll need a 12 mil socket to get that up. Now, once it goes up, um, I just align it there with that sump there. You can see it fits beautifully, tucks up and hooks up over here and these gaps are, are really nice. So um, that's the front and sump. Pretty quick to get up there. Now we'll go and do the transmission. Uh, again, we haven't tightened everything up just yet. We'll just get everything up loosely and then we'll align it all. Now with the transmission, put this up, line it up there. That's an M8 bolt. We're really liking this color. Subtle, but you can tell that it's aftermarket. Um, changes color depending on what sort of shadows you get to. These back two mounting points for the transmission, uh, we supply some hardware there, a couple of M8 um, Unistrut nuts, uh, some M8 uh, flanged hex bolt, grade 8.8, and some stainless steel washers. So um, that's because there's no captive uh, threaded holes in the back here. So these are fairly easy to install. There's, there's, some, there's plenty of room there to get your, get your hand up to get the threaded uh, plate in there. And just wind that up. And that's pretty much all the fasteners uh, installed. We'll just check fitment and alignment and adjust uh, and then torque them all up. So while that's being done, you can see that uh, the design here has got the, the extra folds here for the strength. Covers what it needs to cover, the transmission, the drive shaft, uh, thus allowing plenty of airflow for your transmission. And if you're a Toyota owner, you know that the transmissions get very hot. So we're just adjusting the plates now before we torque them up. Again, uh, these openings here are to maximise airflow, especially when you're touring and you've got your whole rig loaded up to the max. Um, you want every single bit of airflow you can get. So we get a fair bit of effort to recess all our bolt holes. You can see the bottom up here, really nice smooth transitions, you've got nothing to hang up on. Uh, make sure you don't bend the bolts and damage your mounting points. Makes life a lot easier when you're trying to remove them. So we'll nip those up and then we'll go around and torque them up by hand just to make sure. Okay, we always suggest you go around and torque it up by hand, just to make sure you get a good feel and you're not gonna strip out your bolts, which we've seen. So those back ones, there are 13. So there you go, uh, Hilux underbody protection. These ones go all the way out here and protect your camber bolts. Tucked up nice to give you plenty of clearance. Again, recessed bolts and plenty of airflow. 
The last thing to do, this one hasn't got a bull bar, we just have to put the um, plastic trim back. Okay, so we'll just put the uh, factory bolts back to put this plastic trim back in. But uh, even that center clip lines up, so all good.